Hey guys, it's Forsaken Reality here with the 31st episode of the RPG tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to be setting up our local player health bars. So basically, when we click play, we'll have our health bars load up and it will fill the bar with the amount of health the player's health is. So for example, so yeah, for example, the health bar is being filled there. And if we look at our bar, that's actually what our bar is at. So we know that's actually being set. So without further ado, we will get into this. First thing we're going to want to do is... Actually, I'm going to move this over. So... Okay, so once we're in here, the first thing we're going to want to do is go to our RPG tutorial folder, go to blueprints, our widgets folder. And first thing, I'm going to rename this to overhead health bar because it's the health bar for overhead, not the regular health bar that we're going to be using. We want to create a new widget. And it's going to be our HUD. And we're going to create one more. It's going to be our health bar. So we're going to open up our health bar. And I'm going to look for a size box. I'm going to have to put desired on screen. And I'm going to set... First, I'm actually going to delete this canvas panel. Then I'm going to drag a size box on. I'm going to turn on this width and height, and I'm going to set them to 564. Um, we're going to want a vertical box. Horizontal box. And one more horizontal box. So we have like this. And we're gonna set our horizontal our first horizontal box needs to be set to fill. Our second horizontal box needs to also be set to... No, we'll keep that on auto, sorry. So that we have this and this. And then we'll get an image. And... I'm just going to set it to the UE4 logo, just for a reference image. So now we have our health icon set. We're going to get another horizontal box. Drop that right here. Fill. And inside this one, we're going to get a progress bar. Rename this progress bar to health bar. And then for the health bar, 
We're gonna set this to fill. We're gonna put a padding of two. Check this so it makes it a little thinner. Background image. Put the opacity to 0 0.5 and make it a little darker. And for the fill image. I'm going to make that a green. And the reason it's not showing up is because there's nothing here. So we go up and we can fill our bar like that. So we have a value set. We can see the difference. Um, that should be it for the health bar setup. I'm just going to you don't need to tint this to red, but it's going to give it a red tint just so you know it's health. You can get a health image. I'll probably set, set one up in the future. Once I set up the mana, perhaps I'll probably get some of the icons, but there's tons around literally everywhere. One more thing. We're also going to go down to our transform on this and the y scale we're going to set to well, item makes it slightly bigger now we can open up our hud and search for our health bar just place that there size the content you should size it if you don't want to size the content you can Scale it out yourself, and this should allow you like might look a little funny if you do that. But you can drag the bar out as long as you want. I'd rather just size the content because that's the size that I wanted. We want to open up our character blueprint. And we'll check if our player is locally controlled. So that means like each instance of the client is locally controlled. So for example, this is one locally controlled client. This is another locally controlled client, but if I'm on this client, that player over there is not locally controlled. If I'm on this client, now that player over there is not locally controlled. Well, they are, well, depending on what client you're on, this is locally controlled because I'm controlling it. But my, but that's locally, that one's locally controlled for your friend playing. But to him, you're not locally controlled. Hopefully that makes a little bit of sense how this is going to work. So you do this, and if true, create widget. I have false, we're just going to continue on. We're going to set a reference to the HUD. And we're going to add it to the viewport. And we're going to select the HUD class that we created, LG, LG HUD. And I'm just gonna drag that over.
So uh, we have that commented and added to the viewport. Now when we click play, we'll have our health bar, but you'll notice that it's not updating to our stats components health, which is full. So in order to do that, we are going to create a macro, and the macro is going to be called update health. Or update stats. So now we can use, we can use, actually use it to update everything. I don't know why I'm trying to drag that out like that, but in here, first we're gonna get our HUD reference. It's valid. space to remove that name if you want and if it is valid we're going to get our health from our HUD uh, Um, one moment. Okay, so that's weird. Our, uh, because we didn't have this set, our HUD reference didn't actually set. So you want to go to our variable, select it, and set it as an object reference, and change the variable type. And that will fix that. Now we have our HUD set, we can get our health bar from our HUD. And then we need to go actually go to our health bar and in our event graph. Um, did I already set this up in the health bar? I do not remember moving this into the health bar. That's weird. So anyways, we want to open up our health bar. Go to our class settings. And add our damage interface. And this is what we want here. You want the map cl range clamped and set these values up like this. And set the percentage of the health bar. I don't remember honestly bringing this in here. I don't know why it's here. Um, oh. Hey, that was very weird. I don't know what happened there. That must have been an engine glitch or something. I'll try fixing up redirectors. That was, yeah, that was a little weird. So yeah, now we have our blank graph. One of our class settings, add our damage health, damage interface to our health bar. And just update health. And we can actually go to our analysis point, create it. Map range clamped. That's for the value is our current. And our in range B. Set percent. Oh. Health bar. That percent. And there we go. We have our health bar being set.
So now I'm back in our master character. I'm drag it up here now and call update elephant interface call. So if the HUD is valid, we will update our health. And we'll get our stats component. And get our current health value valuable variable. Plug this in like that. We'll get our stats. Break. We're gonna max out and go to our event graph. Um, begin play. We will update our stats. We actually want to plug this into our outputs. And now it's being set to zero. Eat the upper. I think this is why the outrange B in our widget health bar needs to be set to it one. There we go. Now we have our health being set on the server and our health being set on the client. So that's going to yeah, that's going to be everything for... It's going to be everything for this episode. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to uh, like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more videos, and you'll see them as they're being uploaded. Um, if you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, Feel free to leave those in the comment section below or join my discord and I will get to you or someone else in the community will get to you. Uh, thank you and that's going to be everything for this episode. See you guys in the next episode.